course, if its only goal was to be one of the best horror films ever made, then it certainly achieved that goal. But who would want to make something like that? You may call this a successful horror film, but I call it a failed attempt at making a drama. Welcome to another year of the Cinema Snob. I told you I was going to spotlight some more popular flicks. Let's watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Previously referred to as Head Cheese. No, seriously. The original title for the movie was Head Cheese. A group of friends go on a drive through Texas to see if their grandfather's grave has been desecrated. And if not, they're gonna piss on it themselves. Of course, all of this is near a slaughterhouse. So, things are gonna start stinking a little more than Franklin here's diaper. The gang picks up a hitchhiker, but I think they should be safe. He looks nothing like Rudger Hauer. Also, wanna know what head cheese is? They take the head, and they boil it, except for the tongue. And they scrape all the flesh away from the bone. Well, at least he doesn't have a... Oh shit, he's got a knife. Oh, 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 what are you doing to yourself? The creepy hitchhiker is beginning to overstay his welcome. I guess this is the third strike, so crackhead James Duvall here gets thrown out of the van. The group wants to check out an old family home, but the old man doesn't think much of their idea. You boys don't want to go mess around the old house. Well, those things is dangerous. You're liable to get hurt. It's weird seeing these young people act like real people. I'm so used to modern horror films where they act like the biggest pieces of scum on the planet. A couple of them head off to the lake, which, as you can see, has been sucked up by Texas. But maybe this other house has a bathtub or something. Oh boy, I hope this shot is converted into 3D someday. Wouldn't that be amazing? Hello? Hey, this shot right here is all that any of the makers of the sequels or remakes ever took away from this film. Well, I used to be a delivery driver, and quite honestly, I've seen messier houses than this. The human in me is scared, but the critic in me does not approve. Hey now, if God didn't want us to hang from meat hooks, then he wouldn't have given us shoulder blades. Oh right, there's some people who haven't died horribly yet. Can I go too? Uh, I think you better stay here. Right? According to the prologue, you're the survivor. Which, by the way, spoiler alert! Ah, I see he's walking into one of the scenes from Days of Heaven. Although if this scene ends with something happening, we'll know it isn't the Malik masterpiece. I sort of sympathize with Leatherface here. Sure, he's a serial killer who thinks the sledgehammer is better than the gun, but it is rather annoying to keep catching people breaking into your house. Hmm, odd. The sun has gone down. There is something weird going on here. God damn it, move, Franklin! Can't you take the fucking hint? Let's get one more piece of sibling rivalry in before the third act. He has to go with you. We've been waiting for him to die for 50 minutes. And shall I sum up the next five minutes for you? See, this is the shit that happens when you wear white after Labor Day. A serial killer will be able to spotlight you from a mile away. Oh hey, it's the guy who sells gas and barbecue. I see no connection between him and the killer. She should be fine. 
Hmm, so that's what Franklin was sucking on all afternoon? Well, solves that mystery. He's not the only one who knows the secret to Farmer Vincent's fritters. <laughs> no! ah! Look what your brother did to that dog! And do you mind not screaming? He's only trying to see if you're diabetic. Actually, this is like if the Manson family put on their own version of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I understand you ain't nothing. Me and him do all the work. I, I just can't. Take no pleasure in killing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you poke fun at one of the most disturbing sequences ever put on film? Oh, with cuteness, of course. <laughs> now, what the hell? That's the second window that she's destroyed. <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe we should take the chain off for future movies and be really fucking obvious about it. Sally gets away leaving the movie with one hell of an ending shot. That is, if you're into that kind of thing. So this was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Well, as a film critic, I liked it about as much as I liked any movie called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Clearly, this is an effective movie, but come on, it's exploitation, which has no right to be effective, so I should just write it off as a failure. It's a good thing that the movie's director went on to direct something more conventional, like Poltergeist. It has Spielberg's name on it. It's okay if I like that one.